On their second date, John Krasinski advised Emily Blunt on what to avoid wearing. Gratitude, I hate it. Celebrities need an intervention since it seems like they have no concept what will genuinely be endearing and romantic about their relationships. For instance, I'll never forget Chris Pratt's 2021 anniversary post, where he praised Katherine Schwarzenegger, his wife, saying, She helps me with everything. I sometimes crack open a jar of pickles in exchange. Awesome, guy. Emily Blunt's recent appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, where she related the tale of how, following her first date with John Krasinski in 2008, left her feeling unsatisfied, is now equally ingrained in my memory. She received advice from the office star on what to avoid wearing if she wanted a second date. I think this is supposed to be quirky and cute, but I'm not a fan. Colbert prompted Blunt to list one possession of hers that she should get go of before bringing up the tale. Blunt retorted, a really awful, old, royal blue velvet jacket. I didn't wear it on John in my first date, but I haven't thrown it away either. Such a terrible jacket. Why then does she still have it after 14 years? Blunt claimed that the jacket had special meaning for her because it was the subject of Krasinski's cheeky little quip. Don't wear the jacket, and you'll get another date. He simply sent me a memo. Blunt remembered, Krasinski deserves a second chance because the memo was undoubtedly a joke. But I'm still not a fan. Even a joking little message is rather brazen for me because males already have too much to say about women's fashion and what we should and shouldn't wear for their amusement. Additionally, you either like her or not. You don't deserve Emily Blunt in her Oscars red carpet outfit if you don't want her in her ugly blue velvet jacket.